Okay guys, got us a boat. Now we gotta guess the Christmas tree, cause it's November. And uh, that's our boat right back there. I'm two weeks behind, so. Yeah. Gotta go do it. <laughs> so we'll be back, we'll show you that Christmas tree we get, and uh, yeah, I'll show you some uh, other things, other little projects we had to do on the boat. Also, we'll be doing the DIY section on our uh, channel, so you can just do that. Okay guys, first day on our boat, and it is a mess, so. <laughs> and I'm sleep deprived. She is. There was a lot of wind last night, and she's like, the boat's rocking. It's gonna blow away. I know what this is. <laughs> Please tell me, before I throw it away. <laughs> it's not a roller, because it doesn't, I don't really know. So my babe's got, a mess. A, me a mess in here. Yeah. All over the floor. They got... They, they, they bought, I don't know how many trash bags. There's spares for spares in here. I'm over here. It's going through. Got this. Got our tank system figured out. I found a coolant leak right there. I'm about to replace hose clamps. I'm seeing a bulge in that hose. This is to the uh, hot water heater. Where it heats from the engine. I imagine I can shut this off. I'll have to look for that valve. And then these are just full of tons of spares. Just spares of everything. There's a spare starter. There's. I just got hose clamped. Okay, so I'm going to buckle this back down. I got these uh, hose clamps replaced. Okay, these are the hose clamps that came out. You see this one just came apart. That one was, these are pretty rusty. This guy, look at that, it's gone. So we'll get these out of here. Okay, so back here is uh, all our water tanks come in. There's a water pump. I just cleaned this uh, filter, it had some crap in it. And that is back there is our fridge okay so our fridge unit does not uh, use a seacock it actually has air cooled so and they have this handy little air filter right here real cute I guess at some point in this uh, stateroom this is the they were gonna cut in some more storage and they changed their mind Look at it again, that's a horrible idea because this right here runs all the way down across here and then there's something right here. So yeah, not a good idea. So we just have a permanent cut mark. I guess they figured it out too late. Okay, so we have our speed, our depth, and then we have, that is our strainer for our AC, our AC pump. This is a bilge for the shower, which is not working. It's draining in the bilge. And then over here is a seacock for this uh, AC. Okay, power boat life, I guess. Cleaning up water. So the we thought we had a oil leak on this engine, but it's mostly water down here. But if you look down here, it's all right down here. I pretty much got it soaked up, and I might just wash all this down and dry everything up so we can trace down any, any leaks we may have. Okay, now I have to clean out the main build where the kill is. And uh, I see a little wire leak, so I might have to dig into that, but it's going to be fun. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, down here in our, this is the kill bilge. Look at all that yumminess. Mmm, that looks good so tasty so we got me a bucket and an absorbent rag and I'm gonna be sopping it up let's we'll see if I can get some of that out there show you what it looks like after okay so we got most of the water out and I can see the kill bowls kill bowls look great and uh, yeah this is my second container filling up but now I just uh, I've got some Dawn down there I just squirted a whole bunch of dye now. I'm going to see if I can break up this oil some more with that rag and then get another rag. And hopefully I can get this almost looking 
back new. If you do see here, we do have a fresh water leak right here. I got, I hear the, the pump comes on every now and then. So it's gonna continue to fill up with water. Of course it won't be oil. And uh, I'll figure out where that's coming from. But it has to be on the high pressure side or the pump wouldn't be coming on. Okay, we got pretty much all the oil out. I've scrubbed it with Dawn soap. And now it's just gonna vacuum it. Let's see if I can show a little bit of this. Okay, so, so our leak is coming right there on our fresh water pump, right there at the fitting. So you can see the water coming out, and uh, we'll have to get that fixed. But that would be filling up our bilge eventually, just that little leak. Okay, I took this off and this thing was starting to come apart in my hands. Let's see, that is, looks like a screw-on fitting, copper. Let's see if I can put some Teflon tape on this and get it back right in the world. So that's plastic, that's plastic, and uh, I'll try to tighten these, I think that's a compression thing. Yeah. Okay, so I wrapped that up with Teflon. Look at this just so I can see it. Because I was doing this on this blind. And I think I got enough Teflon tape on there. Let me turn on water. Okay, water's on. Okay, so we turned on the pump. Okay, so we're ready to turn on the pump. It's still pouring like a sift. Okay, turn it off. Okay, so we got the water pump not leaking. I had to pull out the big tool, but let's see. Turn it on. So, reach my hand around here, dry this off really good. Nothing there. And I know this isn't the right tool. Uh, that's why I used because that thing needs to probably be be replaced here soon. Okay, now you can look in the villages, and there's still a little dampness down there, but it's all yummy. We also have a uh, water leak we fixed on the fresh water. So villages, we'll see what they look like, and I guess. A later time okay so got all the bilges clean I think we're ready to start finding where things are leaking so all the wires out so I can see any new water is new water okay in the engine bilge we're looking down there and there's it's a little damp and I believe that's coming from I'll show you here on the back of the engine so right here you see I have to do some repairs on the back of this engine. It's not pretty and gray like the rest of it. But this hose and hose clamps needs to be replaced. I'm not seeing any dampness there. But we have our dripless down here. I ain't seeing dripping and uh, it's coming, uh, coming out right there. But that is the Seacock for our AC and that's the strainer on the aft AC. So. Yeah, I don't like what they did with that pipe. You know, just making more points of failure. But uh, the shift cable, I'm gonna check it out. It may need to be replaced. I'm gonna go through it, look at it, see what's going on there. Other than that, really like that uh, this filter system. It really helps uh, keep uh, our fuel clean. And, uh, yeah, everything's going right in the world. The big thing I like about these uh, this, this boat is back here you have all access to the back of the engine. I can get all the way around. And then up here is the front of the engine. So it almost makes me feel like I'm working on an engine stand versus uh, 
down uh, doing cars. If y'all followed me a long time, y'all know the Jeep. This is much easier to get to. Okay, so we're in the aft room looking at our shit tank. So, going down in here, this Seacock uh, runs our engine. And I don't have the lights on, so I have my flashlight on. This is our valve uh, that goes into our uh, holding tank. That's for pump out. This right here, oh, sorry. This right here is, I'm thinking to our macerator. And this valve right here runs to the, uh, the sink in the bathroom. So that was off and we weren't getting any water coming out. I thought it was clogged, but it's not. It was just the seacock was closed. So that's on this side. And now I'll look on the other side. Okay, on the other side, that is our original prop. We now have a four blade on here. It has a furling system. I believe this is for the spinnaker. Wait, yeah, maybe. Rolling. And then it has a dog uh, uh, kennel thingy. So, if we ever want to travel, that's where Bella's going. We're in the uh, bow of the boat. This is the last place I have to look. And um, I've already looked under the bed. There's a hatch for the macerator. It's right over there. And uh, then we have down here, we have a seacock for the sink in there. And wait, that's the macerator right there going to right there so back over there I lied and that's the that's the uh, vacuum pump back over there but yeah so then we had some plumbing fins at the back but all we have to concern ourselves with is these two seacocks make sure they're not leaking or anything like that which they are really dry or are they yeah they're dry Okay, we're cleaning up and organizing some of this stuff, and so this is what I have so far. Okay, I've got all this out here. I'm using these kind of Tupperware things to store things in, like I've got hose clamps and stuff like that. But this is more of a record, and all this up here, of where I'm printing things. So in the, this is the starboard side, back bench on the seating position. I have the water pumps, bilge pumps, floats, starters, alternator, and I have a macerator down at the bottom there. So that should be organized pretty well and it's taken up half the room it took up before. Okay, so we finished that one over there and now we have in here we have just plumbing. Uh, there's a uh, uh, CO2 plunger. We got O-rings, our strainers. Um, mostly just uh, plumbing and, and hose clamps. Hose clamps back over there. So this is uh, just a miscellaneous catch-all for plumbing and in-house use. Okay, we're still in the salon, and right here is our cell bags, and below that is our bimini for the back half of the bimini that does not fit because of the solar panels. So now that we got everything found, I'm ready to eat. Let's see what the babe's cooking up there. Trying to see if we can record in this kitchen. Ooh, it's tight. So we're originally gonna take this out, but we've realized that's a bigger task than we want to deal with right now, so we have to try to figure out something else. But this is not a recipe good video. This is us trying to make us some dinner because we have a whole head of cabbage that we need to do. <laughs> so 
I'm gonna stick it all in there and it's going to cook. And then we'll just slice it into steaks. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a tight squeeze to get this cooking video on. Yeah. Plus you have a flashlight on me. Oh, I do? Yeah, I'm like staring at it. <laughs> okay, caught it. So I can stand in the bathroom and I can see you pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair looks fine. Salty air. <laughs> but we got that Christmas tree. And uh, yeah, next video, uh, going to be a few more projects. In, and uh, and also, we're battening down the hatches. So if you hear the winds out there, it's really kicking it. Yeah. But it's, uh, a, it's kind of nerve wracking. I, I'm not, I don't like storms on a boat. That's, um, but we're looking at uh, 45 knots of wind uh, come Friday, so uh, that'll be fun. And uh, you'll see all that next video and how we prepare our boat to take on that challenge. So if you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like down there. It's right there. I'm holding on to this because our boat's doing this. <laughs> and she's wobbling. And uh, if you have comments, feedback, I'm doing stuff wrong, I'm doing stuff right. Shoot that down there. I'm learning. Yeah, I'm, I'm that plumbing. I, I've never worked with PEX plumbing, and so that's interesting. <laughs> so, with that, y'all please take care. Till next time. <laughs> Thank you.